good morning happy vlogmas day one i cannot believe we're here forewarning though i have a lot going on right now we just moved into our new home which i'm going to show you guys here in a second we are in north carolina it is 31 degrees outside it is freezing literally though there were like seven to go orders in starbucks and i learned this in new york city have never seen so many iced coffees and iced frappuccino drinks in my life when it's cold christmas time around new york city people like walk around with ice cream cones i don't know how they do it this is this is like snowing to me like this is so cold but hi welcome oh i was going somewhere with that the forewarning for vlogmas i'm gonna try the best that i can to do as much as i can but no promises we're just gonna pop videos in as much as i can and i would ideally love to do them all but i don't think that's gonna be a possible thing this year i have a baby now i actually have to run too because we have a nanny coming today so i have a little bit of help yeah just all great things i am so happy right now it is just such a wild scenario to be in a different state and then moving the first day of vlogmas this is going to be a little bit different than my typical vlogmas is just because it's going to be moving content like <laughs> typically i'd be getting a christmas tree today we'd be doing like an advent calendar but that's not going to happen until probably like mid-december yeah a little different this year but very exciting things happening i'm going to run home because i want to show you guys the new home and like i said the nanny's coming so i need to like set her up with bryson um and then i will show you guys our new home so actually real quick too the owners actually left a lot of furniture so this is gonna be like an empty apartment tour but like pretty much they left so much i told them if they wanted us to just get rid of them i know furniture is like such a hassle especially with a five bedroom house and one that they were in for so long they ended up leaving a bunch of stuff for us so like our pod isn't coming today until probably mid-afternoon and then we have movers coming today um, but I want to show you guys a quick run around the house with it being empty but they left a lot of stuff like it's not empty at all so I'll just show you guys and then um, we'll commence the moving vlog day one slash vlogmas day one cheers thank you guys for being here this is like oh so exciting I haven't even had a sip of my coffee yet I'm not a huge Starbucks fan anymore. I'm really not, but we don't have any coffee. And like I said, it is freezing. All right, let's go to the home. It's such a weird concept too, because I had to drive in town to get a coffee. It was like a 15 minute drive, which honestly is not bad at all. Like people live more so away from towns, but I've been a city gal the previous, like, I want to say four years of my life. So it's just this wild concept that I have to drive 15 minutes to go get a warm beverage. <laughs> I want you guys to comment down below. I'm curious to know, like how far are you guys from your nearest grocery store? I was talking to a family friend actually. Um, we just got back from Mexico. That's like a whole nother wild story. Um, but he like grew up in a town of 30 people. And I was like, what? I mean, not 30 people. His high school graduating class was 30 people. Just like a really, really small town. And I just find it interesting how people like can live that far away from a town. It's pretty interesting. So comment down below. I'm curious to know, where is your closest grocery store? Like how far do you have to drive? Ours is now 15, 20 minutes, which is actually normal. Okay guys, real quick, I have two things to say before we do this tour. Number one, it is a disaster. We just threw everything down. We have half of their furniture, half of our stuff just everywhere. So just keep that in mind. We have the pod coming today, so that'll be fixed in the next few days. And then number two, we have a lot of renovating to do. So I bought this home because it had good bones, but um, there's a lot to do. So I'll do that in a separate video explaining kind of where we're gonna be at in terms of decor and what we're gonna do, but we have a lot going on. So these are just the roots, the bones of the house. So I'm gonna start with the front door. This home was built in the 80s, so it's like a brick, an all brick home. The shutters, I'm not gonna show you too much of the outside just for privacy reasons, but you can see they left like like you'll see, they left a ton of their furniture. But we've got the columns, we have these like amazing, giant, mature oak trees kind of all scattered throughout the whole entire home. Leaves galore. But yeah, welcome to our home. Here is the living space, it's all their furniture. Um, if you guys watched the North Carolina vlog, we chose the first home. So I'm sure you guys have seen it already, but I'll do like an actual walkthrough with you guys. When you walk over to the left, we have the kitchen area and then the dining area. And then my favorite part of the entire 
house, which is the sunroom. Kitchen, again, is a very 80s style kitchen. We have a lot to do. I'm very tempted right now to go through and just explain to you guys what we're gonna do, but I really want to like do an in-depth video with you guys sometime during Vlogmas with that. So for now, we're just gonna do a quick rundown of the bones of the house, but you can't really see the view, but we have three acres that goes all the way down. A lot of our acreage is woods and trees, but um, I'm not gonna show you too much outside because it's a disaster and the pool is covered, but I will put in a clip here of what that looks like. It is the main reason we bought the home. Like it is just such a beautiful, beautiful pool and outdoor space. Um, and I'm really excited to get these windows open so that you can actually see the view when you get in here. And then span over here, we've got a little hallway, two car garage, um this is the laundry room so this is all just downstairs then you go through this giant hallway and you've got the guest bathroom right now we're living on an air mattress <laughs> until our bed gets here today actually now that i think about it this is the guest bath but we have xander's study is going to be over here but there's another bathroom in here so i don't know what we're going to do with this but this will, I guess, be the guest room bath. We've got a shower. Lots of closet space. I left all the closets closed because it's just a closet. But we have so much space in here, it's unreal. A lot of just nooks and crannies, which you'll see here in a second. Um, but that is the downstairs. It's very deceiving. It's a very wide, like, lengthy, in terms of, like, horizontal length, home. Um, and then we've got the stairs, which I freaking love. Like, look at that view from the living room. Like, I can just picture it all done and then just spanning up and just having a beautiful home. Oh my gosh, I've never had a home before. This is so cool. The creeks remind me of my Papadis house growing up. He had, like, kind of an older home in Georgia, and I kind of love the creeks. It shows, like, really oldsy. It's like character in those older homes. So, again, a very wide home. So, I will start over here to the right. Again, all just closets and stuff. This is the master. Very big and spacious. Again, they left a lot of their stuff, which we appreciate. We've got a giant walk-in. This is our bathroom. Again, a lot of things to... Is that the toilet? Yeah, the toilet touches here. So that, like, you know, just things like that that we had to figure out. And we're going to pretty much like gut a lot of this. And then going back out here... We have the kids' room, our bathroom. This is Bryson's bathroom. Um, and then this is gonna be Bryson's room right here. This space is gonna be my office. And then we have another room. <laughs> this is a big room um, that we're gonna use probably for guests now, but maybe eventually more kids. And then we have our rec room. Again, they left so much of their furniture. But yeah, kind of crazy right now that I'm showing you guys our new home. I can actually take my time and do each room one by one, which is what we're going to do in the next few years. So it'll be fun, challenging, and very rewarding, and it's going to be a journey. So if you guys are down, like I just, there's something about the creek going downstairs that like it just reminds me of the holidays because I always went to my property's house. Like everyone would be sleeping and I'd go down and I'd be like... It just brings me back to my childhood. So we're gonna get the pod here in the next little bit. We have the nanny here who is just so lovely. I love her so much already, um, but they're taking a walk with Bryson. Yeah, I'm pretty much just gonna wait for the pod. We don't have much going on until it gets here. But yeah, this is our home. Actually insane. What I'm thinking of doing first is taking down like all the things off the walls and all their decor pieces and all their furniture and just transfer that over to the garage. And then that way I have everything in one place. If I need it, I can um, just see what we have. Yeah, that's what we're doing first. So we've got pretty much everything from upstairs. We're just gonna throw everything in the garage for now, but we just need help moving like these bigger pieces downstairs. But I think 
we're gonna set this space up as like where all of our furniture is gonna be. So this needs to be like wiped, spread clean, but everything is pretty much off the walls. All those little knickknacks and stuff are in that pile. Pod is here. All right, I got the kitchen as organized as I can make it for now. I even got a candle, I found a candle. And I found a lighter, how convenient. Now, we've got all of their stuff here, ready for the garage sale. And then we've got the pod now. We had another trailer because we had too much stuff for the pod, believe it or not. So he's gotta drive that back. It's gonna take about an hour. So my goal is to try to get as much of this as I can unpacked. Let's see what we can do. So here's the, here's the beginning and I'll show you guys what it looks like in about an hour. This is what I got. Xander just got back. I did take a 30 minute lunch break though. So that was 30 minutes. I wanna know your reaction, see? Did you start yet? Yes, I did. I got all this stuff here on the I know, top. I know, this. I know, I know. There is some stuff back there. I was trying to get as much as I could from the front, but a lot of it is like really heavy now that I, I can't Okay. Do. Well, look, I got the bed frame probably coming out next year. Wiggle no, no, it no, out? No, 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 It doesn't come out yet. What's next? Lunch. It's now super late. It's seven o'clock. We are currently living on an air mattress, which you guys saw earlier. Now we have another mattress in there. We've got all of our big furniture now in the house. We had movers come. Sanders now finishing up the pod. It's like pitch black. I'm not going out there. I've got Bryce duty. The one time that I'm like not missing. Yeah, I'm, we're all like just so blessed to be here. We have a lot of work to do for sure, but we're excited. I want to do a walkthrough with you guys once we get everything kind of settled where I will literally talk about exactly what I'm doing to the space. But I feel like right now, paint and just fixtures in terms of like the fans, taking down the curtains and stuff will do a lot. Even just like the outlet covers right now are just, they're like yellow, they're so old. So just doing something simple like that is gonna make a huge difference. And it's not too expensive, it's not too labor intensive. And then we'll do like room by room, we'll figure things out. But we have people coming for Christmas. I think our family's coming here. So I have a lot to do between then. And I had all these like vlogmas ideas, but we literally don't even have a fridge right now. <laughs> We're living out of a mini fridge. I feel like I'm in a dorm. I used to live out of a mini fridge when I was living in college. And I mean, it's doable for sure, but it's just tough with a baby. So yeah, it'll be a fun, weird interesting vlogmas once i find my advent calendar we can do that but it's not gonna be as festive like i said probably until like mid-december if that like i just have so much to do i think tomorrow we're gonna tackle the boxes is that locked i'm vlogging you can come in and do you want to come oh, oh thanks come here I have a dog here. Oh, we have a dog too, guys. Look at this dog. We think he's a stray, but we don't know if he's like our neighbors, but he's been in our house all day. Do you want to come say hi? He's like, I think it's a boy. I can't really tell. He's like this old, he's got like a big tumor on his side. He's sweet. He's a sweet boy. He's sweet. He's been Xander's like buddy all day. He's my moving buddy for today. We're Did you want to come moving. say a word? And I'm talking about the new places. I'm four crates down with 46 to go, so okay. I've got some work to do. All right, well, we've been calling the dog Earl. Keep Earl company. If he's okay. out there, bring him in for the night because it's freezing. So anyway, yeah, just a lot of things to do. So tomorrow I think we'll tackle just like unboxing everything. It's weird too, because I feel like we're not even done with the, like the roots of the house. So like even getting things out doesn't feel like it's gonna be like permanent, if that makes sense. Yeah, maybe we'll do paint. Like not tomorrow, but the next day we can like just figure out by going to Home Depot. And I want to get that spray one because I feel like that's really fast. But yeah, this is the current state right now. This is like the room that feels comfortable right now just because we have the beds and then all of our outlets have covers and Bryson's obsessing over that, which is kind of stressing me out. But yeah, this is our new home. I have a project now. I am so excited to play with it. If you guys have any ideas just from what you've seen already, definitely let me know. It's our forever home. So I'm gonna put my all and my heart into it and I, have so many plans, I just cannot wait to tell you. Bryson is having so much fun. He's obsessed with his Danny, by the way, guys. Like, in freaking love. Like, it was adorable. <laughs> Can you tell them what a car sounds like? When it's, what does a car say? <laughs> she taught him that. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna sit in here and play with him and edit. 
and get this vlog up for you guys. But um, I love you so much. Thank you for watching, and we will see you guys tomorrow.